Uh, I mean, somewhat. I'm, I'm definitely excited to, to you know, be back in the home state and get a lot of my family and you know, close friends to be able to come to a game and you know, see me play at this level in person. How many uh, people, family and friends are you going to have? Uh, I don't know the exact number. I know it's, it's, it's around 20-something, 20, 20 or 30. Keep hearing about Kansas as I can offensively. What, is, uh, what does that mean to you? What do you guys have to keep an eye on in practice and stuff like that for this week? Yeah, I mean, most definitely. We're uh, we're very excited for the challenge. You know, they do a lot of offense and you know show a lot of looks and do a lot of movements and things. And you know, like I said, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge of that. And you know, the, the strain of practice to adjust to those type of things and, and getting good calls and you know adjust, adjust to the tempo and the formations of that. And you know, excited for that challenge. Are you familiar with the term eye crimes? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, where'd that come from? What's up? Uh, I've definitely heard Coach Venables say it before. And, you know, you definitely don't want to commit an eye crime. And, you know, I've, I've committed plenty in my day. So I'm going to definitely work on not committing any eye crimes this week and, you know, have, having our discipline to, to know where we're supposed to be and how to adjust to what they, they throw at us. One of the things Ethan mentioned yesterday, kind of like UCF, one of the things that y'all prepare for in Kansas is a lot of misdirection. Mm -hmm. How important is my discipline when you're dealing with the team that can spice it up offensively. Yeah, it's most definitely one, probably one of the most important things. You know, they're, they're, they're going to make us play the numbers game, make sure we have our eyes and our numbers right, and they're going to try and get us out of position. We just have to, you know, like you said, stay disciplined, know where to, know where to put our eyes, know what to know what to key, and know where to be, know where our hope is, stuff like that. Hassan was talking yesterday about being greedy. Does that make sense to you, too? Like, guys are like, oh, I'm going to get a big hit, I'm going to watch this, I'm going to get a sack, or something like that. Yeah, you know, you kind of instead of playing within the system. Yeah, kind of along the, on the lines of, of having disciplined eyes as well. Sometimes people get greedy and you know try and go maybe make a play on something that, that, that doesn't really belong to them instead of playing team defense or you know trying to jump inside and make the play when when you're supposed to lever the ball and stay outside. It's, it's kind of stuff like that. It's all part staying disciplined and you know like I said, knowing where your help is and, and playing team defense. Also, you guys got an extended look at Jason Bean last year. What kind of uh, challenges does he present? Yeah, I mean he's he's done a great job with that Kansas offense all year. You know, uh, he's he's a very fast guy, just just like uh, just like Daniels, and you know he can throw the rock around, and you know that offense complements each other very well, and you know they get the, they get the ball to the tight ends and running backs a lot, and really throw, spread the ball out and throw it around everywhere. So they they make a lot of explosive plays, you know, in the run game and the pass game as well. So we're definitely excited for that challenge. Yeah, and I know you guys didn't finish off that goal line stand against UCF. When you guys are coming off what you did against Texas, and then to be in that same situation and to stop in the first three downs. What does that do for your confidence when you're kind of in that situation you're back against the wall? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, all right, we, just, we we pride ourselves on being able to, you know, buckle down and blow up on in, in that situation. And, you know, obviously, uh, having, having that unsportsman opportunity, that's, that's, that's selfish on my part. And, you know, I just need to say more poise in that moment. And, you know, uh, I was just excited for my guys and, you know, got too fired up in the moment. Just to have more, more discipline, you know. It's, it's it's bigger than me in that moment. And, and I realize that now. And that's definitely something that's it's not, not a part of my character. And I apologize to my guys for that. And it's definitely something that won't happen in, any time in the future. So. In those situations, are those things where after each stop, your confidence kind of builds and builds? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I, I, I think our confidence comes from our preparation we do during the week. You know, we, we practice that goal line that goal line package during the week just like we did against Texas. You know, we have a lot of confidence in our guys up front and in our ability to stop them and you know do that kind of thing. You mentioned this game being a bit of a you know homecoming for you. What did it mean to get that captain slot for this one? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's 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 an honor to at a place like this, and you know just be able to go back home and and, uh, and wear that, and you know be be named as a leader of, of my teammates. It definitely means a lot to me, and you know obviously my mom thought it was pretty cool too. So. The fact that they have kind of a two-headed running back attack with those two guys uh, does that change depending on who's in the game? Change how you guys uh, approach? Like you know, you're talking about eye discipline and things like that. What you're going to have to watch depending on who's in the game. Yeah, I mean, no doubt, those, those guys both uh, make a lot of explosive plays and are very, very great players. And, you know, like I said earlier, uh, they love to get the running backs involved in the pass game as well. So it just, it just comes down to high discipline and knowing, knowing where to put our eyes and, you know, who, where our help is. Are they different backs? I mean, do they run, they do different things? They're both they're both very skillful, explosive players. Uh, four and twenty, you know, they're, they're they're great runners. They run hard downhill. They they can get out and catch the ball really well as well. So, you know, we're excited for the challenge of that that two headed monster. I think call it. Did you grow up going to KU games at all? I've never been to a KU game in my life. Never, yes, sir. <laughs> no. Wow. Just K State. Uh, I don't know. I kind of just grew up a football fan. You know, obviously every, everywhere around me, it's it's K State, KU, and then Fort Hayes, where I'm from. And you know, most most of my friends from high school either go to K State or KU. So it's it's, it's going to be cool to, to to be able to play in front of these guys again at this level. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, sure. man. Appreciate you guys.